Hi, this is Julie Wolf with another Skype tip. This is a Skype room tip. I'm going to show you how to make a Skype room joining enabled. In other words, how to make it so that people can join your room from a link. Especially useful if you want to use a link on a blog or a website to join a room. Now this is my Skype chat directory, skypechat.net and uh, if you want to add a Skype room or even add yourself as an individual you'll be able to do that. Yourself as an individual is no problem but when you go to join a Skype room, add a Skype room using this add a Skype room link there's three steps as you can see and the first step is uh, choosing a category and it should be under Skype rooms. So we'll go to business and finance. That's choosing the category for your Skype room. The next step is to fill in, to add your new Skype room. Please select a category for your room in the field below, then click go button. Complete the form within that category to move on to step two. You will be given the opportunity to review your ad before posting. Here it's, it asks you for the room topic so it could be whatever the topic of your room is business and finance, whatever the room is, but then this room URI is the part that I want to teach. Now if you're looking for the join link or the room URI to enter here in this field, uh, you can mouse over this question mark and it says what is your room URI? From your Skype chat room, enter the Skype command slash get URI into the chat exactly without the quotes. Um, but there is another step I want to show you and that's that you have to make your room joining enabled possible to make it possible for the room to be joined from a link. Otherwise the link you put here won't work <laughs> for people who are not members yet to join. So let me show you how both are done. How's that? Okay, so here is my uh, blog support room and I'm typing in get URI and you get a really long link. It's a clickable link. That's what you need to put in uh, the room URI or you can put it in a short uh, URL shortener. Uh, bit.ly or tiny whatever there's a million of them to make it a clickable link and add to a, a Skype message or a Skype room or a, uh, a blog post or any website. Long and short of it is you want to make sure that the room has a, a copy linked clipboard button <laughs> then you will know that it is a public I am stands for instant message. The way you make this happen so it's not just a plain so it's just a group room. Okay, I'll, this group room I'll rename as test one. Okay, send a message in there. It's going to show up in my recent tab, test one, two, three, and it is not a public chat or I am or instant message. It has no information here. It's, a, it's not a fully set up room. So what I want to do is show you how to create a room that has a clickable link to join it. I'm going to make this joining enabled. I'm going to do that with a Skype command. It's very simple. You just start the Skype command with a forward slash and then you set space options. Remember it has to be exact and then there's a space so pay, pay, pay close attention to these spaces. No space forward slash no space set space options space and then joining underscore enabled. Now I'm going to get the options to make sure that that's set up. Yes, it's now joining enabled. Now watch what happens when I right click and view the profile. Ta-da! What was before just a regular group I am or group chat is now a public chat with a copy link to clipboard button 
and a lot more information like moderation rules. When you create, uh, when you enter this, when you set up the option for joining enabled, it becomes a uh, possible to join from the link. I just got that again from this button, copy link to clipboard. There it is again. Okay. Of course, you can always get the URI like this. And they all work just fine. So now you can take the URI and put it in the Skype uh, directory under Room URI, and boom, you will have a clickable link that people can join um, from the link. And I'm going to show you the. Uh, right. Well, here's one for Skype safety in the featured listings that I created. So I'm going to click on this one, Skype safety and hacked account recovery. And when uh, this is what it will look like when you fill in the form to add a Skype uh, chat room, Skype group room or public room, and you can put in the description. Okay, and you can even make hypertext links. But this is the important part: the room URI. Click here to join. When you click there, you should be able to enter the room. And there we are. We're inside of Skype now, inside of my uh, group chat room called Skype Safety and Hacked Account Recovery Room. That's it. I hope that was useful. And uh, once again, this is Julie Wolf with another Skype tip on Skype rooms. Here at IncomeAssurance.com slash Skype, you can get my Skype tips every time I blog. Uh, add a video to my blog. You will you will get those as well as some old tips, all kinds of neat nifty things you can learn. New Skype tips you never knew things were possible. You can get those as well. And of, of course, SkypeChat.net is where you can access the Skype directory and add yourself to um, any Skype room. Add yourself. Uh, to uh, as a person on Skype and uh, even get a featured listing so that no matter how many hundreds and thousands of Skype people and Skype rooms are added to this directory in the future, your yours will always show up in a featured listing. It will scroll by. Again, thanks for watching. This is Julie Wolf with another Skype tip. Happy Skyping!